Okay. Now let me show you an example to illustrate our model of strategic sequential voting. Suppose we have three voters whose preferences look like this, and they're going to vote to decide the value of two issues. The first issue is that whether or not should we build the swimming pool, and the second issue is that whether or not should we build a tennis court. Now, let me suppose that I am pretend that I am the first voter, and I'm going to show you what is my way of reasoning. Right? So here is what I do. Suppose the swimming pool is already built. Then we are going to vote to decide whether or not should we build a tennis court. And then in the second stage, I'm actually comparing between ST and s not t because we already assumed that the swimming pool is built. Right? So remember that the majority rule is actually strategy proof, which means that I'm going to vote for my preferred candidate, which means that I would say I would prefer building the tennis court to not building. And similarly, a second voter and a third voter, they would vote uh, not building the tennis court. And then based on the majority rule, the tennis court should not be built. Right? And similarly, if we assume that the swimming pool is not built, then actually all of us are going to vote to build the tennis court. Then based on the majority voting, the tennis court should be built. Right? So the trickiest part of this strategic sequential process is that in the first stage, when we vote whether or not should we build a swimming pool, actually we are comparing between S not T and not S T, which are the winner of the previous steps. Right? So again, because majority rule is strategy proof, it is always my dominant strategy to vote for my preferred candidate. So you can see that in that sense, I'm going to vote not building the swimming pool, and the second voter will vote to build the swimming pool, and third voter not building the swimming pool. And then based on the majority rule, the winner should be not building the swimming pool. And we already know that if the swimming pool is not built, then the tennis court should be built. So this is the outcome of this strategic sequential process, building, not building the swimming pool and building the tennis court. Right. And actually, this works for arbitrary number of binary issues. And you assume that the voters vote simultaneously over these issues, one issue after another, according to an order O, which is given exogenously. And for each issue, the majority voting rule is going to be used to select the winner. And this is actually a complete information extensive from gain. And the winner is actually unique, which is computed via backward induction, which I showed you in the last example. 